Computational thinking is gaining recognition as an important skill set for students, both in computer science and in other disciplines. Computational thinking is not programming, instead it is problem solving by way of computing. It includes logical organization and analysis, abstraction, generalization, decomposition, algorithmic thinking and debugging. There are a number of promising studies of games that teach computational thinking and programming, but most of these don't consider whether students are learning computational thinking skills, neither adapt to individual players' needs. Instead, they boost theoretical knowledge and promote students' motivation in computational thinking and computer programming by usually following a computer-assisted instruction concept. This, however, is usually predefined and rigid, offering no adaptivity to each student. To overcome such problems, we have developed an adaptive computational thinking game called AutoThinking. The game benefits from an artificial intelligence technique that seeks to engage players through personalized and fun gameplay while offering timely visualized hints, feedback and tutorials. These all together direct players to learn skills and concepts tailored to their abilities, aiming to improve both computational thinking concepts and skills. So now I'm going to present you each level of the game. I will show you how the game functions and what the players should do in order to succeed and go to next level. And I will introduce you the various ways that auto-thinking targets and triggers four different computational thinking skills and concepts. The game starts with short but informative instructions in the beginning of each level. The first page has three buttons for instructions of the three levels and three buttons to play. This helps those who do not wish to play level by level to directly launch and play their desired level. Clicking on the instruction of level 1 gives you six pages step-by-step -step guide of how to play that level. So, let's play the first level of the game. In this game you need to develop a solution using arrows to run the mouse through the maze and eat all the cheese. You can see there is also a green-eyed cat that moves randomly with repetition, meaning that it may go through the same path more than once. On the bottom of the screen you can also see the score. Eating the big cheese gives you 500 points, while small cheese gives you 10 points per cheese. Running into a wall makes you lose points and may even put you in danger of being caught by the cat. Being caught by the cat results in losing one life and 500 points. Solutions which make the mouse move only through empty tiles gives 10 points per solution, regardless of the number of tiles traveled. Hitting the help button gives you again the instructions of level 1. Now let's look at the four computational thinking skills. Level 1 and also later all other levels in our game are targeting the first skill, problem solving and algorithmic thinking. In this game the player needs to solve a big problem, meaning eat all the cheese without getting caught by the cat. In order to do so, the problem needs to be divided into sub-problems. These sub-problems are the solutions that the player is developing. And then also the four concepts of computational thinking are targeted. As you could notice, the comments are planned into solution bar in order to arrange a certain action. This represents sequence. Let's continue with level 2, which again starts with instructions. Level 2 is similar to level 1, but some features are added. The players can now use loop and conditional in order to develop better solutions. Level 2 is also provided with simulation button, which enables the player to simulate their solution before running it. And finally, now the cat has blue eye color and also the behavior is different. Now the cat moves randomly without repetition as many tiles as the mouse moves. If the player needs, the instructions can be opened from the help button. As already seen in the game, the second computational thinking skill that is targeted is simulation. Simulation gives an opportunity to observe the movements of the mouse before hitting the run button, without actually gaining points or losing lives. Also, two computational thinking concepts are included from the second level. Firstly, conditional. 
This means the ability to make decisions based on certain condition. In this game, the condition is to go and stop if there is a junction. And secondly, loop. Loop is a mechanism for running the same sequence multiple times. In this case, it means that the mouse keeps going until the wall. And now level 3, starting again with instructions. In this level, things are similar to the previous ones. The green-eyed cat moves randomly with repetition. However, the blue-eyed cat now moves intelligently, with or without repetition, according to the player's ability. To do so, the game considers the solution developed by player and its suitability for current situation, as well as current state of the maze, including cat situation, runs, lives, cheese, score and so on. It then decides on the movement of the blue-eyed cat accordingly. The cat switches between four different algorithms, which I am going to introduce you now. Firstly, the cat moves randomly with or without repetition when the solution of the player is satisfactory, meaning it's not too risky, has some potential to obtain good scores, uses various skills and so on. The second option, when the solution of the player is satisfactory, is that the cat moves in an aggressive way by choosing the shortest distance from the mouse in order to catch it as soon as possible. So, keep in mind, if the solution is satisfactory, the cat decides to switch between random and aggressive behavior according to player's skills. In the third option, the cat aims to get close to the mouse, usually one tile away, but not catching it in order to provoke the player. One of the variables that this algorithm considers is that the solution involves some risk, uses limited skills, but has potential to obtain a normal score. Whoops! And finally, in some specific situations, the cat doesn't get closer than four tiles to the mouse. One of the variables that this algorithm considers is that the solution is unsatisfactory, meaning it's risky, doesn't have potential to obtain good score, and the player has only one life or less than six runs left. Whoops! While playing level 3, when necessary, the game provides player with customized feedback and hints which can be textual, graphical or in a video format. Next, you will see nine different examples of this feedback and hints. Whoops! 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 Whoops!
Whoops! Regarding the skills of computational thinking, as you might have already noticed, an option to build function is added on level 3. Building functions helps the player to develop the skills of building algorithms, meaning creating repeatable strategies. Level 3 also has an option for debug. This helps the player to monitor the solution algorithm in order to detect any potential errors in the logic. And finally, the last one of the computational concepts is parallelism, which is executing commands or functions at the same time to both escape from cats and eat cheeses.